Hello, everybody. Today we have five of the Tim Hortons packs here. So we're going to be opening these and basically uh, I'm going to make some kind of challenge out of it. So pretty much I'm going to make a team out of the players I pull in here. Um, and I'm going to guess who is going to be in the pack before I open each one. I have to guess one player. If I don't get it right, then I have to take out the highest overall player from that pack and they can't be on the team. Um... And if they are, for some reason, not in the game, then they also don't count. I don't know if there's anyone that's in these that it wouldn't be in the game. But if that does happen, then yeah. And duplicates as well is also just, I I'm, I lose out, basically. And then the rest of the team will be made up of sub-80 overall players that I'll just pick kind of at random, pretty much. So yeah, um, that's, that's it. So hopefully we can guess at least two of the packs so we get all three of the players. And assuming that, you know, there isn't... A player in here that isn't in the game on top of that hopefully we get a goalie because that would be bad all right pack number one i'm gonna go ahead and say that we get a okay i forgot these are hard to open okay well anyways while i try to get this open i'm gonna say there's gonna be a crosby in this one just i don't know i have a feeling okay i went and got scissors because i can't be bothered so let's see what we get here i don't even know which way these cards are gonna be <laughs> and now i can't get them out. do i have to actually still rip it this is like half the thing for me is you know half the video is me trying to get these cards out so we know that we have a Jonathan Huberdeau on the back here. But who do we have on the front? Uh, Max Patch. Ooh, there's one of those cool red cards. Okay, so we got Max Patch ready. And then we've got ourselves a Brady Kachuk. That is sick. Chucky in his red rounded corners form here. Love it. And then, yeah, we got a Huberdeau. So, um, yeah, we, we didn't get a Crosby. So I already have to take out... I'm assuming it's definitely going to be Huberdeau. He's probably the highest rated. So... Right now, the team is made up of Brady Kachuk and Max Pacioretty, plus the sub-80 players. I'm going to say that I also can't guess the same player again, so this time I'm going to go with... Let's... Hmm... I don't even know who... Like, is there anyone not in these? Let's go with Ranton and screw it. He just came up on the screen in the game, so... Let's see if... Oh, my word! We got his teammate, Kale McCarr. All right, well, we know who that is. And we get Bowen Byram. Are you kidding me? We get two Avalanche... If he's... Sandwiched between these two, that is going to be unheard of. Here we go. Boom. Nope, it is um, Kivi Ranta. All right, photo finish. That's a pretty cool card. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to get rid of the best rated player from this pack again, which is obviously going to be Kale McCarr. So, the two players being added to the team are Bowen Byram and Kivi Ranta. Oh, I actually got this one. I actually got it. Okay. I was able to open this one. So, let's say. Ah. Uh, Let's say I'm going to get a Connor McDavid. Screw it. Let's see. Why not? And we... Are you kidding me? I was actually thinking about saying Mitch Marner too. All right. Well, it is what it is. Let's take it out. So we know Mitch Marner's at the back here. And boom. We get... Ooh, Tim Horton, baby. Yes, sir. All right. That's good. And there's another red card. Who is it? It's going to be... Okay. Jack Hughes. That's sick. And we once again did not guess the player. But I believe Mitchell Marner is going to be the highest overall player. So once again... Marner will have to be cut. I also don't want to guess any of the players we've already pulled. Because if we get a duplicate, then it's like I don't get to use them any... Well, actually, because Marner did get taken out because he's the highest rated. Let's see if I can get this one. Probably not. But you know what? I'm going to say we get another Marner here because he's not on the team currently. So I don't know if you guys saw who that was, but I didn't. I'm going to try doing it this way now then. Uh, yes! Thank you! We get a goalie. Vazzy. All right, that's huge. We needed a Tendi and we got one. Andre Vasilevsky is huge. Next, we get... Ooh, a canvas Tyler Toffoli. That's a nice card. All right, cool. So now we need this last card to be Mitch Marner. It's not going to happen, is it? Nope, it's Sergei Bobrovsky. So that's great. That means we basically have to get rid of Vasilevsky. Wow. Well, at least we got Bob. At least we have another goalie because otherwise we would have been completely screwed. All right, last pack and it is going to have Ovechkin if I can, you know, get it open here. No, nope, it's one of the stubborn ones. All right, so yeah, cut at the bottom here. I'm going to try to take it out so that, you know, the actual front card is first. And we get Charlie McAvoy. I said Ovechkin, right? Yeah, I think I said Ovechkin. So we get Charlie McAvoy. So that's solid. We get ourselves a John Carlson. Oh, no. That's a cool card, though. The red cards are sweet. And we get ourselves- OH! No way! No freaking way! You've got to be kidding me. I can't believe that. I genuinely cannot believe that. I saw a Caps card, and I was like, there's no shot. And we actually got him. I'm blown away. Alright, so in conclusion, these are the players that we essentially get to, to keep here. Because, you know, they 
didn't <laughs> they weren't the highest overall in the pack or in this case we actually guessed who was in the pack so that's huge tyler to foley i kind of thought i wasn't going to get an ovechkin there for a second it's gonna be sad because i didn't even know they had tim horton's packs until like yesterday when we went and yeah i found out they were there and i bought five of them and these are the first five i'm opening so that's huge yeah here's the team and then i'll go put it together and on top of that we will have to put some sub 80 overall players but yeah let's go do it also just for note these are the players that aren't gonna make it because we didn't guess the the player on the pack or in the pack so yeah these four have been deleted unfortunately whatever team colors come up i'm just gonna use those so what, let's please be okay i mean it looks all right all right so i just realized that there's absolutely that makes no sense our logo is ridiculous right now because it's an a with flames and i made it berry so i realized why i wanted to make it something with an a now so i'll go change that maybe i'll just make it the atlanta fire because why not so even without me doing what i have to do aka add sub 80 players we have two kiviranta and byram <laughs> already on the team i guess i should probably do it from free agency because you know it's just makes oh yeah wrong one <laughs> whoops so i guess devin dubnik I, he's probably signed somewhere i don't even know if this is still updated but this is the most active roster i have so uh, most updated roster. I think that makes a lot more sense. So I'll pretty much just take all of these people that I can and then we'll go from there. I don't know how many centers I have though. So let's let's see. So I only have two centers over there. So I'm going to pick up these two here and now we just need a defenseman. So yeah, Coburn, there you go. All right, team is done. We have $18 million of cap space still too. So that's nice. So sadly, they still have not added the option to just insert a team. So yeah, that's it is what it is. We'll we'll not, you know, <laughs> stick on it too much because it's probably not a feature that a lot of people would use. So once again, going to randomize the team here. And this will just be the team that gets taken out, not the team we're using. So boom, we take out. Very fitting. Very fitting. All right, Atlanta Fire. Have Ovechkin and Carlson anyway. So, you know, that's very... I can't believe that actually worked out that way. Our team is only 87 overall, which I mean, the Lightning are 89. So we're actually still pretty solid. But if we got those other guys too... Would have been like a guaranteed dub. I love how like all the other logos have like a 3D version, but then if you create a team, it's just like, nah, you just get it in 2D, fam. Sucks to suck. Edit lines. Actually, let's sim to the preseason or sim past the preseason first. I don't know what is going on, but I just cannot construct a sentence right now. And when I do actually put one together, it just makes no sense. So yeah, I'm doing great. Doing great. Ooh, we actually get some decent chemistry here. I mean, that... Down there, not so much, but up here, yeah, it's decent. But I'll do best lines, it'll probably completely... Ooh! Okay, I'm not down with this minus three, super down with this plus three, though. So let's see if we can try to, you know, minimize that a little bit. Ugh, what's going on? Okay, well, I just sort of adjusted these lines a little bit. But yeah, the plus three and plus two is huge there. Defense, okay, we got Tim Morton playing with John Carlson. That gets us a plus two. Is there anything I can do to... Ooh, gets us plus two, plus two. But I really don't want Vatnin playing on the first line uh oh man i can make mcavoy mm, no i shouldn't do it i shouldn't do it he should be up here so we'll go 201 for now and then yeah that's our offense in net we got bobrovsky and then devin dubnik backing him up so it, i don't know i don't know what to think of this team we might do well we might not obviously i'm gonna say ovechkin gets the most points i'll say he gets 80 and i think the team will get 43 wins yeah that's that's what I'm sticking to. I also just kind of noticed that we didn't get any duplicates either. So that is awesome news. Yeah, that's great. No, we didn't get any duplicates. And we did guess one pack. So at least I got one. You know, if I got none, that would have been awful. But I did get the one. Otherwise, we'd have to get rid of Ovechkin. And I think, honestly, he is going to be what defines this team. Like, we will either do good or do bad based on how he performs. The Fire have also join the elite club of NHL teams that don't have a plural team name. We're not doing awful here. String together some more wins, and yeah, I think it's looking like we could be a playoff team, but it's definitely not a guaranteed thing at this point in time. We're cutting it a little close. Unless we just win every single game for the rest of the season, then I don't think we'll have a problem. All right, who's on the block? Let's see who is trying to get rid of who. We got Klingberg, Spurgeon, Kane, Forsberg, Radulov, Giordano, Pavelski, Hurdle, Lindholm, Ben. So the Sharks and the Stars seem to be trying to make some big maneuvers here. Jared Spurgeon and Kevin Fiala to Columbus for two firsts and Svozil. Vozil? Hopefully. I was close. Klingberg to Edmonton in exchange for a first uh, and those two. And then is there any more? That's it. 
That's all we got. 37 wins. 43 is, you know, it, it could happen, actually. I think we're going to pass it, though. We're probably going to win more than 43. Yeah, we definitely are. All right. Well, I was kind of on the right track, I guess. I was close enough. 44. 45. Wow. Holy crap. Man. We just got our 45th win at the end there, but that was like the biggest losing streak of all time. So the Atlanta Fire finished ninth in the league with 96 points and 45 wins. We got the President's Trophy going to the Edmonton Oilers, who were 20 points above the next team. That's absurd. Ovechkin, 83 points. So I was kind of close on that one. Uh, we got Carlson with 70. What a lad. Toffoli with a nice amount of points. Pacioretty, 66. Hughes, 59. Chucky, 55. Anisimov. All right, let's just go to the bottom here. Who got the least? Coburn with 13. And in net, we got Bobrovsky with a 906, 288. So he did pretty good. Uh, Dubnik did unreal as a backup. Holy smokes. Here's the entire league. So obviously McDavid popped off, as did his team. McKinnon did quite well. Kucherov did well. Kane did well. All right, there it is. Let's have a look at the goalies overall as well. Mike Smith. Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense. 51 dubs. 51, 15, and 5 with a 928 and a 211. That is, abs like, it's crazy. I almost couldn't think of a word to describe it. That's how mad lad it is. Time to simulate the playoffs. Time to be eliminated in round number one by the Blue Jackets. We are going to game seven here with an L. There it is. Can't say I didn't call it. And they won the cup. Oh my word. The Oilers absolutely dominated the NHL this year. They got in the <laughs> President's Trophy by a lot. Ovi popped off. Two in the playoffs. 13 points in seven games. Can't blame him. Okay, well, let's have a look at the awards, I guess. It's probably going to be cleaned up by the Oilers. So Edmonton, Stanley Cup, and the Presidents, and the Campbell. And then we got the Flyers, who made it to the finals there. Let's have a look at the individual awards. Connor McDubstep, as we saw, also gets the heart. The Norris goes to Quinn Hughes. Kucherov gets the Lady Bing. Lucas Raymond with the Calder. He looks good right now in real life. Yeah, he looks like he's going to be a stud. Con Smythe goes to McDavid. Mike Smith with the Vesna and the Jennings. Bill Masterton goes to Scandella. Banting with the Jack Adams. Crosby with the Selkie. McDubstep with the Ted Lindsay. And the Rocket Richard also goes to McDubstep. And I kind of want to look at our team's playoff points if I can do that. How do I do that, though? Okay, I don't know if there's a way to do it. But regardless, we know that Ovi did the most there. So, yeah, he did bits. And that's about it. What's the most he's gotten in one season? I don't even know. 112. 65 goals in 07-08. That is a pretty good season, if you ask me. Here's the playoff tree. That's how it all went down. We pushed Columbus to seven. And they actually made it to the conference finals against the Flyers there, but they got swept. And I don't think we would have stood a chance against the Oilers because they were absolutely red hot. Kind of like the Atlanta Fire. I mean, more like our logo in the name, but not so much our team. We did good, but not good enough. All right, well, thank you for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, even though I can't, put words together right now that make sense and yeah that's about it if you want me to do something else like this go ahead let me know and i will see you soon